And good morning. I hope there's enough light to see me. <laughs> it's about just after half five, so probably about quarter to six now. And I'm here. <laughs> You'll be wondering where I am. <laughs> but today I'm going to be doing the Merrick. It's uh, considered one of the major mountains of Britain because it's got a prominence of 600 all the way around it, which makes it class P600. And it's not the first one I've done. I've done a few like that. Um, Helvellyn, Skiddaw, Crossfell, Ben Hope, they're all P600s. So here's another one to do. There's a weather front coming in today, hence the reason why I'm starting early. Hoping to try and get to the top and at least halfway back down before it starts the rain. Um, however, the top is covered in clag, so that's going to be fun. So I'm starting off with my waterproof trousers on, because I'm expecting the worst of the weather. So this camera may go in its box part way through. Before I put it in the box, I just wanted to say that this video is dedicated to all the people who have bought me a cup of coffee and I'll put links below to their channels and to their social media accounts so that you can go and check them out please do and thank you very very much for your kind sponsorship of my channel By the way, I'm starting from Bruce's Stone. I think that's the standard place where most people start. Um, we were near Turnbury just the, yesterday, actually, yesterday. And Turnbury Lighthouse is where Robert the Bruce was born. And Turnbury Golf Course is obviously owned by that nasty piece of work, Donald Trump. opened up a little bit very nice you see it's been a lot of rain <laughs> rained all day yesterday nearly but it's rained just about every single day <laughs> and when we're going back I only came for a couple of days I'm going back it's going to be uh, sunshine and a heat wave typical there oh look at the view over there Slowly heading into the clag now. No, oh, this is inside. I did have my torch with me after all. There's the rum. I need wood for the fire, but needs cutting. Loads of rubbish left, like not good. Should carry the rubbish back out. I'm gonna put the camera on this box now because we're gonna be heading up into that clag. It'll be very moist. There's a bit of moisture in the air as well. 
feel a bit of drizzle coming on. So, I'll be speaking to you when I come back down. So that was the Merrick, got back down here around about half past ten, so that's about just under five hours, fair and back, eight miles, four miles up, four miles down, uh, plus time to stop for taking pictures and stuff. Ah, so I get eaten alive by midges like, I need that wind to pick up again, it was pretty breezy on the top like, <laughs> and when those horses came out of that fog like, scared the hell out of us at first. In any case, this is near Bruce's Stone. We'll go and have a look at it in a minute. Um, over there is where Robert the Bruce ambushed the English 
Uh, there were 300 men who managed to draw the English with 1,500 heavy cavalry into this little glen. And then he bombarded them with stones apparently, and spruce of stone. It was his first major victory against the English. It's very nice here. There you go, Bruce of Stone. In loyal remembrance of Robert the Bruce, King of Scots, his victory in this glen over an English force in March 1307 opened the campaign of independence which he brought to a decisive close at Bannockburn on the 24th of June 1314. Seven year war of independence, eh? Apparently it happened over on that side of the lock. It's just starting to drizzle now, so I'm gonna head back to the car. I hope you enjoyed this mini escapade. So knocked off another P600. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below. Hit the subscribe button for the next adventure. Share with your friends on social media. Now the next adventure I'm going on is Grand Tour of Northumberland. We're gonna do a camp on uh, Kielder Reservoir. That should be next weekend. However, I'm a little bit behind on the videos because I've been away for a couple of days in Scotland. So, probably the time when this video gets uploaded will be the time I'm in Kielder. <laughs> so look out for that one as well. So, catch you on the next one.